From NVIDIA's new chip to how the AI boom is hitting crypto markets, this is Generation AI. NVIDIA Chief Executive Jensen Wong unveiled a new flagship chip, the B200 Blackwell. The chipmaker claims it is 30 times faster at tasks like serving up answers from chatbots. Hopper is fantastic, but we need bigger GPUs. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to a very, very big GPU named after David Blackwell. The U.S. and dozens of other countries say they are pressing the United Nations to act on AI. America's ambassador to the world body, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, says countries must come together to ensure that the technology benefits everyone. The resolution calls on member states to promote safe, secure, and trustworthy AI systems to address the world's greatest challenges. Europe is moving closer to enacting the world's first rules on AI. EU lawmakers have approved the bloc's so-called AI Act. The rules will govern AI models and restrict government use of the tech for things like surveillance. The AI boom has hit the crypto market. Coins linked to AI-focused crypto projects have jumped, driven by insatiable investor appetite for applications like machine learning. The rise of many AI crypto tokens has outpaced even that of Bitcoin over the past year. Their combined market value has ballooned to $26.4 billion, from just $2.7 billion last April, according to CoinGecko data. Apple is in talks to build Google's Gemini AI engine into the iPhone, according to a Bloomberg News report. The negotiations are reportedly about licensing Gemini for some new iPhone features slated for this year, though some details are still being worked out. A potential deal between the firms could help Google expand its AI services to more than 2 billion active Apple devices.